Today in math, we are going to discuss odd and even numbers. And as we discuss this concept, I want you to think back to the story that you read at the beginning of your e-learning bundle, Tacky the Penguin. Tacky was a little bit of an odd bird, and a lot of times Tacky was left out of activities that his companions took part in. When we have an odd number, it's hard to share evenly with everyone involved. For example, if I had a group of five students and I asked you to pair up into groups of two, it would be difficult for the five kids to do that without having someone left over. If we look at this, if we consider that each one of these X's is a student, and I want you to group into groups of two, I would have one or two students here that would group together and two students here, but this student would not have anybody to become a partner with. That is because the number five is an odd number. We are going to make a chart to kind of help us look at and figure out what our odd numbers are. What we are going to do is start with the number one over here on the odd side where we see Tacky because like I said, Tacky was an odd bird and he was left out of a lot of things. We're going to write the number one and then after we write that, we're going to draw a dot and for every number we write, if I have draw the number one, then I'm going to draw one dot. If I draw the number two, I draw two dots and we'll progress that way. So with the number one, I put one dot here. This is an odd number because one person can't partner up with anyone else. They can't split in half and do that. So one, we call an odd number. When we move over and look at the even, we will move and write the number two. Here we'll draw a dot at the top and a dot at the bottom. If it is an even number, we get to connect those two dots and they can become a partner. So when we connect here, if it's even, those dots will connect and there won't be any dots that are left out or left over. So we're going to continue this pattern and see how this goes. So our next number would be 3. And we're going to draw our dots in the same way, one at the top, one at the bottom, and then we'll draw one at the top again. Because we have 2, we're going to go ahead and connect those. So 1 and 2 are connected, but we do have a third dot that's left over and wouldn't have a partner. Let's move over and do 4. We're going to draw one, two, three, four dots. And then every time we have two dots that are one on top and one on bottom, we're going to connect those dots. So on the number four, it's even because there are no dots left over. Let's continue on to the number five. We'll write five and then count with me as I draw the dots. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. Now, we're going to go ahead and connect these dots. Tell me what you think. Is five going to have a dot left over? I think you're probably right. Let's go ahead and check. We're going to connect the top to the bottom. So those two are even and partnered up. And these two are even and, even and partnered. But we do have a dot that's left over all on its own. We're going to move on to six. Once again, count with me as I draw these dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, and we'll connect those dots together. You should at this point be noticing a pattern as we go through. Everything on this side, just like Tacky the penguin, is odd and there is a dot left over. Everything on this side is very prim and proper like Tacky's companions and they always have someone to partner with. Let's keep going until we can kind of see even more of a pattern. Go ahead and count with me again. This time we are drawing seven dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we'll connect those. And once again, you will see there is a dot left over. Now we're doing the number eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if we've corrected the pattern that we've saw, or that we have seen, excuse me, you'll see that once again, all of those dots have someone to partner up with. Now the number nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we will have once again a dot left over. 
and the number 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we will connect all of those dots together. The pattern that you will see if we continue to go is that odd numbers always end in the numbers 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. So even the number 11, if we drew it over here, because it ends with the 1, it would be an odd number. Numbers that end in 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10 are even numbers, and those will always be split evenly without any leftovers. The next activity that we are going to do is called Percy Penguin Share Your Fish. And you should have a little booklet in your packet, so go ahead and find that now.